I'm so ready for this. I put my phone on airplane mode. And you also put your earrings in. I do. <laughs> Is idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm an American fanboy. <laughs> I think I think that's safe to say that we're American fanboys. Big time. <laughs> yeah. I think he's the most that we've seen. Yeah, we're gonna talk a lot about him. Yeah. Right anyways, now. but uh, where are we today? Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. We'll do we'll do it's the content. Thank you for supporting us on Patreon. Yes. And uh, follow us on official Twitter account. Oh. Uh, but today we are doing a movie review! Da, 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 da. one that was very requested from the start of the World Cup. From way back, I think after we watched Three Idiots, everybody was like, you gotta watch this too! Yeah. But we saved it. Uh, I think now. we actually started watching it then, uh, and it took us this long to, to get to the film. It. Yeah, we no, watched five minutes a day. But yeah, we had to watch this one in parts. It's kind of like a mini-series. Uh, anyways, but yes, we watched Lagan. Lagan, I think it's how it's called. Lagan, yes. Lagan. There's no Corbinization on that one. I think I, originally I said Lagain. You something. did. I think I said Lagain. You did. Uh, but, yes. Which it means tax, which means yes. that's the whole... It's yeah. a uh, Amir Khan film. Yep. You want to read the synopsis real quick? I do. The people of a small village in Victorian India stake their future on a game of cricket against their ruthless British rulers. Ruthless British rulers. And those ruthless <laughs> British rulers. Uh, it's directed by, uh, you want to say his name for me? Ashutosh Go Gowarakar. And he's a renowned Ashutosh director. Ashutosh Gowarakar. He directed yes. Swades, Joda Akbar, Lane, yes. and I'm sure many more. Yes. Uh, so and he's a very renowned director. D uh, composer was A.R. Rahman. Which is, uh, no, of we'll course. We'll talk about that. Uh, and also it starred, say her name for me. Gracie Singh. Gracie Singh. Yes. Uh, we'll talk more about her. We will talk about more. We'll talk but about anyways. Blackthorn, and we're going to talk about my favorite character in the film. Yes. Uh, but the... Uh, this is obviously a spoiler review. Yes. Clearly, it came assuming, out in 2001. Assuming most of you have seen this. If most you haven't, go watch it. We asked people, because uh, there's a couple different cricket films, which one we should watch first to get to know the sport better. Right. This is the one that everybody said, and I agree with them. Uh, and I'm glad we waited a little bit and did like our cricket video where yeah. we actually learned some cricket before, and we've seen some highlights of matches. Yeah. It, we, was, it was actually quite funny. I it, watched it with... Uh, Shishu, who I'll be named, uh -huh. uh, and um, she was actually asking what like what was going on during and the game, were, and I was able to her. explain the, uh, the like not all of it. No, 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 some no. points. We're not going to pretend we know the sport well yet. No, no but I was like, I know the I know the right. point system. So like, you get six, you get four, you get yeah, you get, and so it was it was interesting. But anyways, this film obviously a four hour film. Yes. Um, but, uh... Which was longer than the tour that Gilligan and his crew took. But, you know what's funny? I watched this in two parts. Uh, I watched, I think, an hour and 15 hour 30 first. Right. And basically I stopped right before they started training. Playing the, yeah, we, gotcha. Um, and then right after that, which was another two and a half hours left in the film, uh, man, that thing flew by. <laughs> yeah, the, the, sec <laughs> the second half? Yeah. Yeah, the second half is very, it's... It's, oh, it's captivating. Very. It's very quick. I love this film. Me too. I, I, I absolutely adore absolutely. it. I mean, there, there were parts I despised. Okay, there, and there I were, bet there were, there were parts I despised. And there, and there, they may be the parts that I, I love. Mean, but um, even still, uh, I was like on the edge of my seat, especially the second half, because obviously I figured they would win. And I don't know how much of this is 100% accurate. I know they... Cinema, uh, it was a little cinematic, obviously, at points, because it has to be. It has it's to a be. film. Um, but uh, we, I knew they probably won, but you don't know the whole story, so you're like, what's going to happen? Right, right. What's, what's all this? So that was very interesting to me, and my wife was like, that was a good, that was a really good film at the end. But yeah. She actually only started um, my second viewing. So the oh, so she caught part, the second half. And so I caught her up with the sure. first part. Which you can do pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, and then... We watched the second half, which was basically an entire film itself. True. But yes, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. We could talk about every aspect of it, of course, uh, starting with um, uh, Amir Khan. Yeah. So, for me, I, I don't know that I would have enjoyed this as much mm -hmm. if I hadn't already seen a bunch of his movies. Yeah, I'd probably say so. Like, if there's an American going through stuff, I yeah. would recommend them other Amir Khan stuff. 100%. Well, one, because 
this is old Bollywood. Right. And so you need to understand Bollywood before Correct. you can, like, current Bollywood, which is more similar to Hollywood. 100%. Uh, to understand old Bollywood. Right, right. And old Bollywood and Indian culture. You don't need to know as much, like, Devdas is like PhD level mm -hmm. Indian understanding. Mm -hmm. There was stuff we didn't even capture all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this one, you need to understand at least some of the history of Indian cinema and mm -hmm. old Bollywood, the transition. You obviously, you don't need to know cricket because they teach it to you. Yes. Uh, but I discovered in this one, and it's why I think he's perfect for this version he's going to do of Forrest Gump. Because I very much felt when he came on screen and I was watching him the way I do, the kind of affinity I have for Tom Hanks. Oh yeah, no, I, yeah, I think that's a, we don't have to talk about that. Yeah. It's a perfect casting, it's just, it's a tough role. Really and a tough, tough film It'll to remake. Really tough, <laughs> but it helped so much that I cared immediately yeah. about the character because it's Amir Khan. Yeah, it's Amir Khan. Yeah, uh, but so he was, he was phenomenal. One of my favorite roles, I still think my favorite role of his is the uh, Rag Dabasti. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just I love that. I, I, my thing. favorite role of his because I'm. It's just my. I so far. Uh -huh. I, I love. I just love the message of PK. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so. also, we could talk about somebody I'd never heard of, but who Several. I adored uh, was Gracie Singh. Come on. Who played Gar? Gar, Gar how do you pronounce it? Uh, Gari. Gari. Yeah. Okay. She was. I kept saying throughout the. She's adorable. Adorable. She is adorable. Yeah. And also. She should will not be named. Uh, was smitten over the Indian head nod that kept happening throughout the throughout the thing. Come she was on, like, I that told is, you. That is so adorable. The Indian head nod is just the most one of the most adorable things I've ever seen a human being do. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely so endearing and so sweet and so indicative of India and only India. I, I absolutely. And that's I don't, great. I don't absolutely. know what else she's been in, so you can let us know if she's a big star. If this was like one of her biggest things she's ever done. Um, Bells will be ringing. But uh, I thought she was phenomenal in her role. Me I too. I believed her 100%. 100%. Uh, I believe she loved him. She was passionate. I watched the relationship between them. Uh, I didn't love, and we can go into this a little bit, uh, some of the things I didn't love was the, it almost seemed forced, the, the, how the British girl mm -hmm. loved him. Yeah. It, it, I mean, maybe it happened. Maybe that was like a real thing that happened but between these two characters. Mm -hmm. But in this, it felt like really forced. It, I it, thought she was just being like a nice person, helping them out. And then she was like, I'm falling in love with you. Okay, what the? <laughs> yeah, that was kind of out of left field. It you was. You didn't build that up at not, all. Not particularly. Um, no. And I would have been fine that you didn't really need it either. Because she could have been jealous just because he was talking to this other girl that he was... Infatuated. Yeah, by. it really could have and been left alone. Yeah, I mean, it, she could have, uh, what's her name? Guri. Could have just been jealous of this other woman that he's infatuated with because she's right. from a different country and she's teaching this sport. Right, and she's and, pretty. Yeah, and, and so she could have just been jealous. That she did, There didn't need to be a whole... Love. No, we didn't need a love triangle. But, I granted, agree. it could have been real. Like, that, that, that storyline could have been real in, in the actual story of uh, Lagan, the cricket thing. Is this based on an actual event? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, I, I thought this was. I thought this was just simply a story. No, this actually took place. Yes. Really? Yes. There was this place that did this, and they fought the British, and they didn't have to pay taxes for three years. Yes. Are you one hundred percent positive? I've looked it up. Yes. Oh wow! It's oh, so cool. <laughs> wow! Well, pardon me, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is a, uh, uh, and based on, obviously. Sure. I, not every little You can let us know, but he was annexed, they said Africa, but he was annexed to, uh, Australia. Oh, that, okay. The, the main British guy. Yeah. Uh, he was annexed to Australia. Okay. Uh, wow. Something cool. some gay people in it. Might have been the first gay people in India. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I looked up, like, what was true, what was not true. Uh, basically, after, cool. after I watched it. Right, but, yeah. Well, uh, I, yeah, I, I didn't even look it up because for some reason I had heard or thought I had heard that it was just a, it was fiction. So that's, that's great. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, I didn't, I didn't love what he was doing, like, a lot of times. Paul Blackthorn? Yeah, uh, in terms yeah, of. Yeah, the captain. There was a lot of stuff with the British stuff. <laughs> well, there always is. But let's say, let, first of all, you know that's his first role ever. Was this? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. And he's gone on to do a lot of work. 
That makes sense. He's gone on to do a lot of work, but this was his like his breakthrough role because he was really like over inflecting like certain British. Yes, but so at the start of the movie, mm -hmm. I thought, oh dear Gussie, great. I have to sit through another movie with a bad white actor being a Brit. Yeah. And then I'm watching the guy, and I'm thinking, you know what? He's annoying me, and it isn't. His, it's not his acting, his, especially the second half. I didn't think his acting was bad Oh, no, at all. It, it wasn't really his and acting. It was some of the mannerisms he decided to do that were over the top, and you knew that they were acting. Yeah, but it made me dislike him so much, and I think that was great. It made, yeah. it, like, that, that, when I think about it in retrospect, I could see someone else doing the role, but I kind of liked that it was him because I got sick of his face. Yeah. You know? No effect, not, not the actor, but that character. Every time his face got on screen and yeah. he made that little snotty face of his, yeah. I just wanted to slap him, you know? <laughs> Which is exactly how I think they wanted you to feel about it. Yeah, him. maybe. But the most laughable part of the whole film, and I still haven't, we haven't touched on my favorite character by far. Uh, and I'm gonna make a weird comparison to this film in another fear. But film. My, the most laughable part was with the British girl, what was her name? Uh, uh, Elizabeth Russell, the sister? Yes. Yeah. Um, her song? Yes! <laughs> It was like, it felt like, like a Disney Camelot. Movie? It like, felt like a, a mixture of a Disney film and Camelot. I was, was she swinging on leafy brook yeah. vine, you know, leafy things? All, and, all white girls sing about boys with animals. I'm and, in love, I'm in love. <laughs> that was a terrible part of the Awful. Song. Just, and I could tell. I was like, why are they doing white people like this? <laughs> that, <laughs> that actress was struggling so hard to find her motivation. I could really see in the back of her eyes going, why am I doing this thing right now? Well, I just don't feel this at so, all. Yeah, we don't, we don't have to talk about that much, but that was, a, that was a terrible part of the film. Okay, so another musical number that did the exact opposite for me. There were several. Yeah, there was a couple that were beautiful. That, the first big one, in fact, just doing it right now, there, and this is more than just this film. This is, what I'm about to share about this musical number is it, it encapsulates everything about what's happened since Gully Boy and mm. Stupid Babies in India because the musical number where he he's has several where he's trying to convince people to believe mm -hmm. and they're singing the song about the, the and then the thunder starts to come at the beginning and they think it's going to rain every single person doing that number and smiling and a head nod or doing a thing with the hand and him smiling I got the feels the whole time and mm. just yeah, I thought it was a beautiful number and it depicts everything I love about India mm -hmm. and Bollywood and musical numbers they put in films. I did have a problem with some of the songs being a little too long. They were. That not, uh, not all of them. My favorite song was the one, Why Is She Jealous or whatever that one was. Uh -huh. I love that one. I also love the one where he's trying to convince them, uh, the, the, the older guy who's saying, why are you doing this? And the song lyric, it's Midway I think is the song. I have it on my playlist where the, the, basically the saying is the one who has hope is really the one mm -hmm. you should be following and is the courageous one and he's trying to get them to believe we can do this because everyone's pissed at him for having said what he said. It's mm -hmm. like, we're not going to beat them at this game and he's like, no, you can believe and have a dream and I, I yeah. love it. Also, my favorite entire scene, we can go back to Amir Khan, was, I mean, obviously the end was amazing, the, the whole cricket playing. The whole, that was yeah. captivating. Like, I, one of the better sport, I mean, right up there with other sport movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This was a fantastic Great sport, sport movie. movie. I loved it. Um, but the, when uh, he told the undesirable to join. Oh, absolutely. That whole scene and monologue of his. Yes. When he was getting in everybody's face about yes. being hypocrites and yep. uh, all that kind of stuff about the whole caste system. And I love that we learned more about it from... Mm -hmm. Uh, Article 15 yeah. and who the great timers are. Yeah, it was a great uh, timing. It, it, it was really impactful and I love that he did a phenomenal job. I thought the whole scene was well written. Me too. Um, and I, I loved that whole part. And I got, by the time the game started, I had become emotionally invested in most of the characters that were involved. Mm -hmm. And this is the weird comparison I was referencing a minute ago. Mm -hmm. I found myself becoming attached to these characters in the same way I became attached and I'm still attached to the characters, weird comparison, in Greece. I understand. The individual, specific, unique, idiosyncratic, because each person was so individually interesting. You had He's a little those, sunny. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, they all had the, their unique traits, even the way that they played. You know, each one's, and it was interesting because each one's 
seemingly, you know, the fact that he could do his slingshot became his, his strength. And even the other guy who had his hand and he threw the ball, you would look at him and think, you can't throw a ball. And actually, because of his hand, it could spin a certain mm -hmm. way. And Amir Khan is the one who saw that. He saw each little individual difference. And so it was like this band of outcasts. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like Greece. They were the guys that the rest of the school kind of, you know, they thought they were cool, but everybody else kind of like, you know, the yeah. athletes and the jocks well, shunned them. And Zuko was cool. If everybody thought Danny Zuko was cool, he was the Amir Khan of the thing. Yeah. So I saw a lot of compare, but my favorite character. It was, uh, it was the scene guy. Who? The guy who could tell the future or whatever. Come on. Yeah, Goran with yeah. the beard. Oh my. When he yells, I wrote it down. When he did it, I was dying. When he's screaming during the game, he screams, Come on, white man. I'll make you whine for your mother. Rot in hell. I love that character. And sadly, that actor has since, he has, no, he's not around anymore. Yeah, but I love that guy. I wasn't a, I wasn't a fan. Oh, Corbin Miles. I'm I, disgusted he, with he you. Got, he got, I think I just more <gasps> accepted his character. Oh, I threw out. Adored him. It's just the, it's clearly overacting. Yeah, in the it, best way. It, no, it's not. But uh, but I understand, whatever. Uh, I, and I love some of the stuff he said. I thought it was funny. Like, they brought up the, you know, teach that white man a lesson. Yeah! And it just cracked me up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I loved his path. And he was the one guy, aside from Amir Khan, Govan, who was optimistic the whole time. Just like. You want it, do it. It can be done. We can do this. We can beat them. They suck. We're great. We mm -hmm. have God on our side. And I just, I, I want that guy on my team. Yeah. Yeah. I love that character. I even love the fact that his beard didn't look too great. And I'm a big, I'm a nitpicky guy when it comes to bad and makeup and bad hair. Like, it's unacceptable to me. But there was something pretty awesome about the fact that I, I was like, I don't think that beard's real and I don't care. Because it fits this character. I love absolute. Every time he was on screen, I couldn't. I was thrilled. I wasn't as a big of a fan, obviously, but um, that's 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 it's fine. But my favorite thing about this film was the the amount. One, I I think I knew a lot of the stuff that they were teaching already because right. we had really good teachers. We in really did, regardless of if you think they were or not. They were good. They were. Um, but uh, the, it kind of helped reinforce the the stuff that. We had already been yeah, taught, and so very you can much. see it almost in slow motion what the rules are yeah. and uh, why you can't play in the rain, basically. Well, even and also the the pitch changes, the which climactic is why, ending too. Why his ball wasn't spinning? Correct, because the pitch changed. Right, which is one of the things I learned because I made fun of the fact that they canceled one of the. Uh, cricket games on Twitter I was right. like it's just rain guys right and then everybody was like you you, you have your no idea what you're talking you're about idiot like, right <laughs> yeah you can't play because it's, it's even the pitch. It's, it's even worse than what happens in baseball yeah I mean the, the, the rain affects cricket even more than well, yeah, baseball they have to use the pitch yeah, exactly but yeah. yeah and so like that that was really cool to learn and then also the um, I, the, I learned a bunch of stuff obviously but uh, the fact that when somebody pitches you have to in order for this guy to hit again, you need to get one run, not right. two runs. Not two. Yeah. yeah, you want to score less, actually, yeah. so that you have another shot at more. If you want this Because guy of the number of yeah. pitches you have. And the so, like like a leadoff, if you get off base, mm -hmm. I've, I didn't r realize this. When he comes off... He's like baseball. And they yeah, he was tagged out. Yep. And even if we hadn't been exposed to cricket, the ending wouldn't have... We wouldn't have understood the ending. Because he the fact that he yeah. catches it, and I for a split second, I, I bought it. For a split second, I thought, wow, they're actually going to make him lose the game. And part of me was like, that sucks, but that's kind of cool that they, wow, the underdog, Rocky doesn't win the championship. And then they show you where he's standing. Yeah. If we didn't know that it was past the boundary and it was a six, yeah. it wouldn't have meant anything for us as a sport movie. So yeah. I was fully, it for me is right up there with my other favorite sport films. And it's the only cricket film we've seen thus far yeah uh, there, there's others yeah okay let's the music mm. A.R. Rahman I guess you don't need to say anything else no uh, some of the obviously the, like I said the, the jealous one um, the only one I hated was the uh, the, the British girl one uh, the love triangle yeah. song it yeah. also sounded weird having like these songs sung in English. Yeah. In a, in a Bollywood. In a Bollywood. It was like, it just didn't sound right. No, I much preferred and wanted to see um, 
Bavan and Guari's um, love story, mm -hmm. and his his you know his playing with her and her not knowing, and but just and besides the songs, just the score. Um, he's it's it's A. R. Raman. He is he's he is brilliant at con conveying emotion and also being small, which is I don't know how much he and the director were collaborating. I can't. That's got to be huge. But for example. The score didn't stand out to me during the, the cricket match, mm -hmm. which is exactly what should happen. Yeah. It should have just enhanced my emotional state of being mm -hmm. and not really made me think about the music. It didn't. The songs I remembered, but from the, the moment the game starts, uh, and even the, the, so much of the shots were so well done. Let's just give a big shout out. This is going to be weird, but the background actors, man. Whatever they were doing to stay focused as a crowd and be believable that they were watching, I don't know how many days they all stood around. That was a lot of background work. That was. And the musical numbers had a lot of human beings in there without CGI put in people, mm -hmm. with costumes and a lot of work put into this film. Yeah. Yeah. A I, lot I, of work. I, I loved this film. I did too. Um, and loved especially when it got going, finally. Um, after the first hour 15, whatever, when they actually started training uh, and they were finding different people. For, yeah. I loved, I think one of the best actors in this whole thing was the Sikh. Yeah. Yeah. I loved his character. One, he was a strong actor. Strong actor. Um, but uh, I liked his character a lot. Mm -hmm. I liked that we knew that about the Sikh people already. Yeah. That they were very proud. Again, and so helps. Uh, and so the background of that helps. Yeah, the minute I saw him, my whole impression of the Sikh people is because of our understanding of it and being educated through it and seeing Kasari. It was mm. Kasari, right? Yes, it was. Uh, when I see them instantly, whereas before we saw them and our, our thought was, oh, peaceful, kind, yeah. quiet, keep to themselves, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, when I, I think Rambo, Braveheart, yeah. that's what I think now when I see them. So when I saw that guy, I was like, oh, Warrior, you want yeah. him on the team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> also, I want to know how many rules were changed from uh, this time. Obviously, this was uh, or like way back in the day when this story happened. Yeah. But um, so like, I think one of the jokes they were making, you know, like I did this, and they were like, uh -huh. I think they said we have to write some, but it can't be done until after this. I'm wondering if that is now a rule, right? Yeah, because I'm, I know the game has changed, just like any sport, where where time. Also, I'm rules pretty change. sure if you hit people with the ball, you do get a penalty. I don't know. At least now. Yeah, I don't because know. Because they didn't, like, nothing happened. You can just peg each other. Right. With the ball, like, as much as you, you want. want. <laughs> no matter where you're standing. Yeah. Like, hit him in the ear. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you just peg each other? I know, like, exactly. All the time. <laughs> like, it just hurt the other player. Yeah. Like, and you're going to win the game. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming the, a, a lot of these rules change, and obviously you, you get penalties now mm -hmm. if you... But I, so I, I didn't know how many of those rules changed and how much of this was changed for cinematic reasons. Right. Uh, yeah, for those of you, which is most of you who know cricket better than we do, you would pick up on things. Like if I watched a baseball movie, I could tell you instantly if it was accurate or not. <laughs> yeah. You know, by the way they're holding the baseball bat to everything, every little nuance. And I know you guys are like that with cricket. So, I, But I assume, I mean, we've got, everybody was saying, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. When are you watching this? When are you watching this? So Yeah. And I would um, definitely say I would I would recommend this to people if they've already seen a bunch of uh, Bollywood films, yeah, uh, or films from India, yeah. Uh, not their first one, no. Uh, I don't. <laughs> if, if you, this is how we look at it because we're trying to get other people here in America to catch on, catch on. Uh, but you don't want it to be this abrupt and this long. No. If you're coming from an American film, which is hour and a half, is a film, right? And if it's longer, it's sometimes people think it's way too long. Yeah, anything over two hours, most Americans are like, well, unless it's Avengers, yeah. I'm not interested. No, yeah. It's just going to be tough for me to stay focused. And so you need to build up the tolerance, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's very much like introducing people who've never had anything to drink in their life. They've never had an alcoholic beverage before in their mm -hmm. life. You're not going to just instantly start making them drink 30-year-old scotch. Yeah. You're going to have them be introduced to some of the lighter things and begin this build up process so that they are understanding you know, the nuances and what to enjoy. And it, it, like most cinema, but particularly with Indian cinema, because it is as complicated and complex and culturally diverse that you will miss, and I'm sure we're still missing stuff. Oh yeah. So we're, we're, we're gaining ground 
but I agree with you. Mm -hmm. This one, I would put uh, DevDos for me so far as the one that's like, you've, you've got to be as immersed as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. And then this would be right up there, which I imagine is going to be the case for any of the older Bollywood films, that they're going to be pretty rich in Indian culture and history and Bollywood cinema uh, style. Mm -hmm. That I mean, even like watching the Sri Devi video of her dance, the snake dance, helps inform the video of the songs in this in a certain way you know what i mean mm -hmm. that yeah. it, so totally. but love I, this i movie. love this film especially yeah, I love it. once i like i uh, like i said i was captivated i didn't notice like especially from when i started the second time uh, right when they were she started training him basically that's when i restarted it yeah um, and i like i didn't i couldn't tell you that it was two and a half hours after that because no. it, it kind of just flew by it does the I second was, half flies i was just Captivated the whole time, yeah. And I understand why you guys love this film so much, and it's a it's a groundbreaking film. And in, in I I would love to see this on a big screen. Oh yeah, because I bet it feels like like I remember the first time I saw Lawrence of Arabia on a big screen, mm -hmm. and I remember it intermission because that one has an intermission. I remember it intermission being thirsty because I felt like I'd been in the desert the whole time. <laughs> You know, so I would imagine after, you know, watching this, seeing them dive in the dirt and playing the stuff, I just, you would have been more immersed. Maybe you want to play cricket, too. It did, me too. Like, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we'll play when we come to India. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. And we're well aware that cricket's coming here. We've actually talked about that reality. And it's August 4th. They're, they're, they're not coming to the West Coast. No, but it's about a six-hour flight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're still, we're, we're thinking. Yeah. We'll let you know. We're tempted. But I would give this, uh, I'd give this... I mean, in terms of just knowing Bollywood as a whole, I'd give this an A. Uh, solid. That's what my solid A. Like they were, like I said, you know, I told you the thing. I had problems with it, uh, but most of them weren't in terms of the film. It was just little things. A very, song here, very little. Uh, a little and, and, and we haven't even there. gotten into some of the other things that are beautiful, which would take just too long. All the technical aspects of it that we would get into. Yeah. Of, Cinematography and set design and continuity and I just it's love just that really we, solid, well done. All I love that I do understand cricket more now, and yeah. so I can appreciate the, the India going to win There's the World Cup. One other, one other thing. Yes, one other thing for me. This was beautifully uh, for, for for the translation that we got. Mm -hmm. I'd love to know for those of you who speak both Hindi and English. If you've seen the subtitles, how close the English came to the Hindi, because some of the lyrics in the songs mm -hmm. in the English were so gorgeous lyrically. I, I, I immediately, there were songs I wanted to have and listen to, mm -hmm. and just the poetic beauty, it made me kind of ache to know Hindi even more. Mm -hmm. Because I know that even when you, it's like any language, but particularly with Hindi, there's so many plays on words. <laughs> that thankfully they could translate with English, but I know it's, I know there's a lot we're missing in translation, but yeah. this was probably the most beautiful mm -hmm. English translation of words that I felt like I was capturing how gorgeous the lyrics were yeah. in the song. I did love the subs. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Well. As was, the, I thought the script was really well written. Yeah. Really well written. Yeah, I love this film all around. Yeah. I could totally watch the, the it again. Yeah. Um, because it's just, uh, so captivating. It's like when you're in the mood to watch a sports movie. Yep. It captivates you just like that. So yep. That was great. Let us know what you should watch a review next. And um, go India. Win.